It is now 9.49 in this Saturday morning. Time to have a little bit of fun. Carl Nelson's here from Imagination Station. Time for Imagine It and time for my uh, safety goggles, right? Absolutely. All right. We're going to do something incredibly dangerous today. Oh, wonderful. Okay. This always so happens. Don't try this at home. Okay. okay. That's why we're doing it here. All right. There's lots of cool science behind what we're going to do, but just don't try this at home. Okay. So basically, it's really simple. I brought with me a flammable liquid. Hmm. All right. I'm going to take this cloth. Soak it in the liquid. Okay. Right? Cotton cloth? Just a regular right. old cotton cloth. And then I'm going to let you light up the flame, and we're just going to put the whole cloth into the flame. Oh, now, all right. No your, your prediction, your prediction of what's going to happen here. I, I almost am embarrassed to ask you, what do you think is going to happen? Carl, I'm guessing that this is going to light on fire and that the cloth will disappear. That's okay. my thought, but I don't know. I don't all know right. what this mixture well, is. It's, it's a flammable alcohol okay. mixture. So all right. Ready? Go ahead and hit the torch. It's going oh. to... Bottom there. Oh, it's so, almost protecting it. Yeah. So we get a really nice bundle of flame here. Sure. But what do you notice though? Right. The, the, cloth, the cloth is still intact. It's still intact. Huh. In fact, the so it's acting just, as a barrier? Well, what's happening here is my mixture, you're, you were kind of clued into that. My mixture here, my flammable mixture, mm -hmm. is actually a mixture of water and alcohol. Okay. Okay, so the water has a very high capacity to hold heat. Mm -hmm. And so I would have to actually boil that water off, turn it into a vapor before the cloth would actually burn. Hmm. So the water was sort of protecting the cloth, you could think of as the alcohol burned off. Okay. Now, you might though think that this is some, some sort of trick cloth, it's got some fire retardant stuff on it or something like that. In which case, we could use something a little bit more valuable. Hmm. Do you have any cash on you today? Well, Carl, I do <laughs> normally carry a 20 on me. And if you're lucky, I kind of like you. I suppose you, I'll give you, you okay, nice. 40. Okay, now so this is my Christmas money, so be careful. I've heard how you burn <laughs> through cash though when you're shopping. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna do the same thing with the money here. Oh. Just to show that this is not a special cloth or anything like that. Okay. The $20 bill. Go this ahead. This is making me nervous. Get your torch ready All here. All right. So I'm gonna hit the $20 bill. Oh. And it's not gonna nice. burn. Nice. All right. In fact, we should do that one more time. Okay, ready? Just to... Huh. Got a little bit of a singe there, but the dollar bill is I, still intact. I might have taken it a little overboard with you the glow torch. You're getting excited but... with the torch there, clearly. <laughs> okay, but again, just because that water can help protect the, uh, the, the cloth or the dollar bill there. Sure. Same thing that when you huh. spray a house. You got one house that's burning, you spray another house next to it. Right. Not only does the water stop the burning embers from lighting the house on fire, but that water barrier um, would have to be sort of boiled off before that house could catch on fire. Which explains firefighters' tactics then. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. All right, Carl. Well, thanks so much. And luckily, we didn't burn through that money that's there. Right. So that's right. So I can still go Christmas shopping, You can shopping, still go right? Christmas shopping. Okay, we won't tell anyone that's your money. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that is today's Imagine It. Now, we, they do have some really neat things going on down there. Graham Cracker Houses? Yeah, we have uh, culinary students from the uh, Penta uh, Culinary Institute mm -hmm. down today, and they are actually showing people how to build small gingerbread houses oh, from wonderful. 11 to 4. So come down and check it out. It's really cool. They've actually created a 12 foot tall gingerbread house that's on display as well. Awesome. Good All right. Things. Carl Nelson from Imagination Station. From there, let's go check in with Dave Holmes to see what's going on in sports.